Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17. We're actually talking about the devices that will be supported by iOS 17 and the release dates for iOS 17 beta 1, the public beta and of course the public release of iOS 17. So when it comes to supported devices, we can actually guess pretty much a very good guess based on history on how Apple has done things and of course, when it comes to release dates, we might probably be like 95% sure of the release dates, always based on the history and what Apple has done on the previous years. Let's get things started with the release dates. So with well, the first beta of iOS 17, we're looking at the beginning of June. As always, Apple does their event WWDC on the first week of June and this year will most likely be the same. So last year we had the first beta of iOS 16 right here on June 6th. So the Monday, the first day of the week when the event starts, they will release the first beta of iOS 17 just like every year. So this year, let's move here to 2023. We're looking at right here, June 5th. That is the first Monday of June and that's the day that I expect Apple to actually release the first beta of iOS 17. And that will happen of course after the event. Normally Apple does the event for like one, one and a half hours and then after that is done it should be released to the devs. But when can the public install the beta because this year will be different actually. You won't be able to actually install a beta, the dev beta using a profile. You will have to have a dev account which will cost at $99 per year. So if you don't have that, no longer you will be able to actually install a profile and get the dev beta. You will have to wait for the public beta. And last year it happened five weeks after the release of the first beta for devs. So it was released on July 11th. This year I would actually expect Apple to do the same and we will get beta one for the public probably right here around July 10th. That's the day that I would expect Apple to actually get the first beta out to the public and that's when you can actually just go ahead and update to that beta and that will be pretty easy You no longer need to enroll on the website for the public beta. All you have to do is just head on to the settings app and select the public beta under software update and you're good to go. And last but not least, we're talking about the public release of iOS 17. This is a bit harder to predict because it will always be very closely related to the release of the new iPhones. And if there is a delay on the production of the iPhone, of course, it will be a delay on the release of the software as well. Last year, we got iOS 16 on September 12th. That's what Apple will do. They released on the 15th the new iPhones and of course the, on the 16th I believe it was and then it they released of course a few days earlier iOS 16. This year I expect the same to happen. We will probably get iOS 17 somewhere like September 11th or September 18th. These are the two dates that I expect Apple to release iOS 17 to the public. And now let's move on and talk about supported devices. So last year Apple dropped a few devices. So it was the original SE, the iPhone 6S, the 6S Plus, and actually the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. So what Apple usually does, they will support a device for like five years. And this year I'm expecting Apple to actually drop a few more devices. So currently these are the devices supported by iOS 16 with the oldest one being the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10, which all of these have been released in 2017. So this year I would actually expect Apple to drop support for these devices as well. So the only like Thing that they did when they actually supported a device longer was with iOS 15 because it actually was just like a polished version of iOS 14 didn't have more like improvements or features that would actually require a better chipset. So this year with iOS 17, I really expect Apple to drop a few more devices and those being again the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. And that will leave of course the iPhone 11 being the oldest device to actually support iOS 17. So if you have one of those older devices, 
you will probably not get an update this year hopefully they will do that but i'm very sure that they want and that they will drop support for these devices so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did and of course if you want to be informed more about ios 17 and the latest rumors and updates and everything regarding ios 17 make sure to subscribe to the channel it really helps out a lot and i will see you guys on the next video